Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to recreate one of my most favorite looks from one of the famous makeup artists that I follow on Instagram. Um, I will insert a picture of the look that I'm going to be recreating. So yeah, if you guys want to see how I did this look, then just keep watching. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, the primer that I use every day. Um, it is the Cover FX uh, Mattifying Primer. Apply that all over my face. Okay, then I'm going to take my um, Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. Um, I don't... I don't even know if I'm in this color anymore, but it is um, called Toasty Toffee. Shake it up. I know my face does not match my neck just because I don't see my face in the tanning bed. Just because one, over time it gives you a lot of wrinkles. And two, when I tan my face, I, all of my freckles come out. So I try just to keep my face, um, like with my makeup on, while I go tanning. Just because I don't, I'm not trying to look crusty when I'm old. Well, at least my face. Next, I'm going to move on to my eyebrows. Um, I'm going to take my um, Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Dip Brow in the color Chocolate. And I'm going to put a little bit of that on my brush. I'm in the process of growing my eyebrows out. So they're looking a little crazy, but... So I'm just going to use this little angled brush with the product on it, and I'm only going to put this on the um, bottom of my eyebrow. Let me turn this way so you guys can see. So basically just like underlining um, my eyebrow. Let me see. The product on it, and I'm only going to put this on um, bottom of my eyebrow. Let me turn this way so you guys can see. So basically just like underlining um, my eyebrow. So now I'm going to take an eyebrow powder. I'm going to shape the top. I'm using an eyebrow powder opposed to the dip brow on the top of my brow just because um, brow powders look a lot more natural. And by natural, I mean, not like I just put a stencil over my eyebrows and colored them in. Because I am by no means I'm just gonna do 
what I usually do and carve out my eyebrows, which means just take a little bit of the excess foundation on like a, a thinner, like a skinny found, um, shader brush and just clean up the edges of your eyebrow so everything looks polished and put together. Now I'm just going to take my eye primer I'm going to put my eye primer all the way up Okay, so now that my eye primer is on, um, I'm just gonna pack a base color all over my lid. Um, I am going to use a bright white shadow and put that all over my lid, all the way up to the brow bone. Okay, now I'm going to take a true orange color, um, it is just a bright orange color, and I'm going to take it on a big fluffy brush, um, this is the 224 by MAC, and just put that messily all in the crease. Take the 217 blending brush from MAC, it's a more denser blending brush, and um, with that warm brown shade, I'm just going to concentrate this more in the actual socket of my eye. Um, the color that we used before this was kind of just messily put there. It really didn't have a specific position. It works just as our um, blending shade. So this is just going to make a more, def a more defined crease. To define the crease even more, I'm going to take the color brown script. It is a very red brown color on a more... Um, pointed tapered fluffy brush and just concentrate that even more right in the right in the crease. We're trying to make a we're trying to make a softer cut crease. Like a more wearable cut crease look. I'm gonna take a even more defined fluffy brush. A more not defined um a more tapered blending brush and I'm gonna use um, a black eyeshadow and I'm gonna put that right in the crease so I'm basically just drawing a shape right now but we are going to blend it out So now for the lid color, I'm going to spray my brush with some Fix Plus from MAC and I'm going to take a very sparkly champagne color. Um, the color that I'm using is actually limited edition from MAC, it's from the Marilyn Monroe collection so it won't be out, but basically um, it is just a champagne gold glitter color. And I'm going to pack that on my lid up to the black shadow that we use to make that cut crease.
yes, I know this concealer is a lot lighter than my skin, but I go for the very highlighted look underneath my eyes. If you don't like that, you don't have to do this. Um, I just feel like it brightens my face up a lot more. And I do not want any under eye bags. No, it looks scary. Look at me. <laughs> oh yeah. So what I'm gonna do for the bottom lash line is I'm gonna take um, the color saddle and first just put that all um, under the bottom of my lash line. Um, I'm going to take the, an orange color and use that to smoke the bottom lash line out. To, um, a black gel liner because I know this will stay on all day long if I use this. Um, what I'm doing is I'm going to take this flat definer brush with the eyeliner on the bottom and I am going to run this right on the um where right on the lash line. So I'm just gonna make a very harsh black line. right where your lashes meet your eyeball. So I'm just gonna push the product in. the um, my winged eyeliner that I usually do on the top of my eyes okay so I have my lashes on so um, now I'm going to do the last step for the eyes, which is just line the inner rim with a white eyeliner just to make your eyes really, really pop and look um, very like dough-like. So the next thing I'm going to do is line my lips. I'm using a more um, brown nude. So the lips that I ended up choosing is a matte lip cream by um, NYX Cosmetics in the color Stockholm. The so this is a completed look. I hope you guys like it as much as I do. And I hope this tutorial was easy for you guys to follow. I know this look had a lot of steps to it. If you guys could please subscribe to my channel and leave me some comments down below on what you want to see next from me. I would really appreciate that. Um, also, please share this video on all kinds of social networks for me. Um, you can share it on your Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Um, yeah, I just, it would really help me if you guys um, just share the video just so I can have a wider variety of people see my video. Um, so, yeah, I hope you guys like this look as much as I do. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. And let's get into my favorite part, the bloopers. <laughs>
hope you guys liked it as much as I do. Liked it? No, we uh, like it. And you also have a red tooth. I told you, it's, you, there's always something on my tooth.